వెల్కమ్ టు వే టు కామర్స్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ టు వే టు కామర్స్ టుడే వీ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎరర్స్ అండ్ ప్రివెన్షన్ ఆఫ్ ఎరర్స్ సో వీ ఆల్రెడీ డిస్కస్ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ టు ఎరర్స్ సో ఎరర్స్ ఆర్ మేడ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ వితౌట్ ఇంటెన్షన్ కాన్సెప్ట్ ఫైవ్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎరర్స్ అండ్ ప్రివెన్షన్ ఆఫ్ ఎరర్స్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎరర్స్ ద ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఈజ్ క్లరికల్ ఎరర్స్ నేమ్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ కంటైన్స్ క్లరికల్ సో దిస్ ఎరర్స్ ఎరర్స్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ క్లరికల్ మిస్టేక్స్ సో క్లరికల్ ఎరర్స్ క్లరికల్ ఎరర్స్ ఆర్ దోస్ విచ్ రిజల్ట్ ఆన్ అకౌంట్ ఆఫ్ రాంగ్ పోస్టింగ్ దట్ ఈస్ పోస్టింగ్ అన్ ఐటమ్ టు ఏ రాంగ్ అకౌంట్ ఆర్ ఏ రాంగ్ టోటలింగ్ అండ్ బ్యాలెన్సింగ్ సర్చ్ ఎరర్స్ మే అగైన్ బీ సబ్ డివైడెడ్ ఇన్ టూ సో క్లరికల్ ఎరర్స్ అగైన్ క్లాసిఫైడ్ యాజ్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఎరర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫార్మేషన్ నేమ్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ కంటైన్స్ ఓమిషన్ ఎరర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఓమిషన్ అండ్ ఎరర్ ఆఫ్ ఓమిషన్ టేక్స్ ప్లేస్ వెన్ ఏ ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ ఈజ్ కంప్లీట్లీ ఆర్ పార్షియల్లీ నాట్ రికార్డెడ్ ఇన్ ద బుక్స్ ఆఫ్ అకౌంట్ సో ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ ఈజ్ నాట్ రికార్డెడ్ completely or partially that means a transaction has two aspects one is debit another one is credit the error commits for example goods purchased from vishnu were not recorded anywhere in account books anywhere in account books this error will not affect the agreement of trial balance so this error will not affect the agreement of trial balance because the transaction completely omitted so debit not recorded and credit also not recorded so this error will not affect the agreement of trial balance but if posting is not done in one of the accounts this will affect the agreement of trial balance because if debit entered credit omitted then the trial balance will not agree okay next one errors of commission errors of commission take place when some transaction incorrectly recorded in books of account so here not omitted commission errors of commission takes place when some transactions incorrectly recorded in books of account for example error in the books of original entry second one debiting or crediting one account instead of the other so debit is entered as credit credit is entered as debit these two errors do not affect the agreement of trial balance debiting or crediting one account instead of the other that means the two errors do not affect the agreement of trial balance because the amount entered is same that's why do not affect the agreement of trial balance next third example is wrong balancing of an account so these are errors of commission next fourth one error in writing amount in in an account for example debiting premchand's account with 107 rupees instead of 100 rupees next fifth one casting of the same amount to two accounts that means casting totaling of the same amount to two accounts next sixth one posting of an amount on the wrong side posting of an amount on the wrong side next seventh one posting in one account and omitting of posting in in the other account so next seventh one eighth one error in carrying for for the total of your subsidiary book or an account from one page to the other one page to the other so these items are all discussed in accounting concepts these are the basic okay these errors affect the agreement of trial balance next errors of principal so errors of principal takes place when a transaction is recorded without having regard to the fundamental principles of bookkeeping and accountancy 
So here the sub-principle means it does not satisfy the fundamental principles of bookkeeping and accountancy. Those errors are called as errors of principle. For example, a capital expenditure, say expenses incurred in constructing a warehouse, may be treated as a revenue expenditure or vice versa. So we already discussed about capital and revenue expenditure in accountancy. Expenses incurred in constructing a warehouse is the capital expenditure. So if you enter it as revenue expenditure, it's called as errors of principle because it does not follow real and nominal controls. Next, sometimes adjustments are not taken into consideration while preparing final accounts. These are errors of principle. These errors, however, do not affect the agreement of the trial balance. Next one, compensating errors. Compensating errors arise when an error is counterbalanced or compensated by any other error. So compensating, name itself contains compensating. Error is counterbalanced or compensated by any other error. So that the adverse effect on one, one adverse effect of one on debit or credit side is neutralized by that of another on credit or debit side. That means if one entry wrongly posted as debit with some amount, another entry wrongly posted same amount as that correct side. So it's a compensating errors. That means the amount is totally adjustable with two entries. That means two wrong entries. So this is the compensating errors. For example, Rani's account was to be debited with 10 rupees. Rani account debited 10 rupees. But it, but it was debited with 100 rupees. Similarly, Sham account was debited with 10 rupees instead of 100 rupees okay both these errors compensate each other's deficiency and will not affect the agreement of trial balance because the amounts are ultimately totaled next one concept detection of errors detection of errors Although it is not the duty of the auditor to trace and locate errors in the books which he is required to check and audit as is the work of an accountant but in many cases the auditor is frequently asked to discover the errors especially so when the accountant is unable to locate such errors. So detection of errors is the duty of the accountant not the auditor. But in many cases, the auditor is frequently asked to discover the errors because many errors may not be located by an accountant. Okay, that's why auditor find out the errors. While locating errors, the auditor should take note of the following devices. So, while locating errors, the following points should be considered by the auditor. So first one. Check the totals of the trial balance. Then only we find out any difference arises between debit and credit. So arithmetical accuracy. So check, check the totals of the trial balance. Second one, compare the names of the accounts in the ledger with the names of the accounts as have been recorded in the trial balance. So check the names with the ledger and recorded in the trial balance. Next, third one, total the list of debtors and creditors and compare them with the trial balance. So it is essential. So total the list of debtors and creditors and compare with the trial balance. Next, fourth one, if the books are maintained on the self-balancing system, see that the total of different accounts agrees with the total of these accounts with the balance of accounts as recorded in the trial balance. 
So in accountancy we discussed self balancing entries. So for balancing purpose. So while following the business is self balancing system, then the total of different accounts agrees with the total of these accounts with the balance of accounts as recorded in the trial balance. We have to check those items. Next fifth one. Compare the items of the trial balance. Compare the items of the trial balance with the items of the trial balance of the previous year to see if any item have been omitted. So once again we have to compare the previous year trial balance with the current year trial balance. Next sixth one. Whatever the difference is there is in the trial balance. See if there is any item of this amount. This is done to avoid the putting of the debit balance on the credit side of the trial balance or vice versa. So difference is in the trial balance. See if there is any item of this amount. This is done to avoid the putting of the debit balance on the credit side of the trial balance or vice versa. This concept is discussed in the rectification of errors. Next, it is possible that the totals of some subsidiary books, for example, cash book, sales book, etc., might not have been transferred to the trial balance. So, totals of some subsidiary books, we have to recheck. Recheck the totals of these books. Okay. Subscribe to Way to Commerce. Thank you.